Hello everybody, this is a Lamley Showcase, well preview actually, I've got the brand new Hot Wheels Car Culture Modern Classics. It has been forever since I have filmed outside, happy to be back. The landscape is changing quite a bit, there's a lot more leaves on the ground than there were the last time. There were no leaves on the ground the last time I filmed outside, so it's nice to be here, nice to have a fantastic set of Car Culture to open and showcase for you. This obviously came from Mattel, very, very excited to show it. We saw some of these models in the Hot Wheels premium preview that we did with Ron and Jimmy. And uh, now I've got the carded models and we're gonna rip them right open. So we are gonna get right to it. Modern Classics, I believe this is the third mix of Modern Classics, right? First one had the 190 Mercedes, the second one had another Mercedes and the Hello Kitty Honda Civic. I could go previous cars, but I'm not going to because we have one, two, three new castings in this mix. And so we've gotta get right to it. I guess we could go on numbers. Obviously the 05 is the chase. We'll move that out of the way. We'll go ahead and take the other Toyota Alteza and move that out of the way. And let's go with the castings that we have already seen. This one's new to premium, so let's start with that. We're actually going backwards, right? This is the 1991 Mazda MX-5 Miata. This is the casting Rio Asada design for basic. Now it makes its way to premium. If you look at, this is the same Modern Classics artwork that Julian has done before. It looks like a series of photographs and, photographs. and if you look closely in the background will be photographs from other models. I believe that might be the Fiat, right? They're just kind of everywhere. And it's really kind of cool how it's been done. I'll show you the back. There it is. I don't know if this is an international or not. Can't remember. There is that, might be international. Anyway, let's just go ahead and have a look well, we'll just start by looking at the model, right? Should we just go ahead and open these up? Let's do it. You just get to it, right? I might not open the chase today. We'll focus on the Silver Alteza, uh, but I might not open the chase today because I got some other things I'm gonna do with that. But here it is, very standard. This is first generation Miata, am I correct? I believe I am. Beautiful, beautiful green color on this one, tan interior. I probably should have pulled out the basic, but I didn't. Uh, Miata on the license plate, Watanabe rims, just a real clean version of this casting. Sometimes these, when these go premium, they render the basics kind of obsolete for me, at least in my collection. I like the basics on here, but I do like this one a lot. And I'm really happy to add it to car culture. I, if it's a car culture model, I keep it. I display all the car culture models on my wall. And that one is definitely a great one. Let me move the camera down just a tad so you can kind of see my Japanese nostalgia or my JCCS mat kind of forming. All right, let's do the other model that has already been seen. You'll see I have the two packs here. That's the next video I'm going to film. Um, here in a second. Honda Civic EG. Another one that I thought maybe I could bring out from Premium. This one debuted in Fast and Furious in yellow. We've seen a replica of that one that came out in the a later diorama set, right? And then we have the Hello Kitty. Sorry, that's a quickly leaf. Hello Kitty. Uh, there was a Boulevard version. Is that it? I think so. This spoon version, I get the sense Outside of the chase, this will be the first thing to go off the pegs. Honda Civics are always popular, and now you have one in spoon livery, spoon deco. I mean, come on. This thing's going to be ridiculously popular. I guess we better open it up. There it is. Spoon is as recognizable as anything, especially in this world, in the, in the Honda world, right? Um, blue over yellow or yellow over blue, however you want to look at it. It seemed I'm only a matter of time this was done. Maybe there's some licensing thing to get this done. I'm really glad it debuts in premium because we get the full deco here. We get the spoon on the rear window. We get it on the, head or on the uh, windshield, full wrap around the entire car. I imagine if you did it in basic, you'd have to break it up a little bit which would, I think would be very disappointing. So uh, like many decos, keep it in spoon, like the HKS. I know they've worked in basic, but they do better in premium and spoon definitely does as well. There is that one. All right, three new castings. So here's what we're gonna do. I'll go ahead, put that one. I don't know, technically maybe the Fiat, based on Hot Wheels timing, the Fiat was supposed to come out in Team Transport, but we haven't seen the Team Transport one yet. In fact, the next mix doesn't have it either, um, but 
So I would assume that this is the debut. This is obviously the debut of the Toyota Alteza, and this is obviously the debut of the Volkswagen Corrado. So, I mean, do we go in order? Well, why don't we go in order backwards? And we'll stop, start with, or we'll finish with the Alteza, because that one has the chase. Volkswagen Corrado VR6 is this model. The art on this is fantastic. I really like the headlight look on this. I think that's just really cool. And we're gonna go ahead and there's the model. Let's just open it up. While I'm opening it up, I'll tell you, you know, there's been pictures of this. I posted pictures. I know Ministry of Diecast has posted pictures of this. They did their video already. Um, there's been a lot of opinions about the Corrado. Some people wanted it more in a stock version, which I get. Um, others, you know, others really like this modified version. I guess if I'm, if I'm expressing my opinion, I guess I don't have one. Um, because I, you know, I'm not a Volkswagen guy per se. I don't get too excited about VWs. I know a lot of people do. It's a religion for many. So I just look at the car itself in this color with the kind of wide stance, the modernized wide stance, and I like it. I guess I can understand why other people wouldn't, but I think this one looks really cool. I mean, of course, a stock version would be cool, but there's some really nice details under. You can see how the, uh, how the sunroof is slightly uh, open, and they've even made it to where you actually can see a bit of a gap there. I think that's kind of cool. I like the look of the car. I can understand some VW aficionados wanting to see a more stock version. Maybe that will come in basic. Maybe Matchbox will do it. I don't know. Um, but I like this version. I think it looks cool. And there's obviously some racing potential with this. But I think that, uh, you know, these clean colors, I think, are really cool. And that is definitely one that I like. All right, let's go to the Fiat. This is another one that we've seen the development of, of this from Mark Jones over time. He showed the pre-production maybe, was it six months ago at the convention? I think it was. And then we saw the finished version, both Team Transport and uh, this one at the convention with Ron. Mark has since retired. Now this model makes its way to car culture. Art's fantastic. Let's open this one up. I really like, if I'm just preliminary before I even open it up, I really like the wheel size on this. Small wheels, I like the four spokes, some people may not, but they are doing smaller four spokes, or they're doing smaller premium wheels, uh, real riders, so we'll see other wheels, I'm sure, on this one. Can't remember what was on the uh, Team Transport, but I do like this one. In kind of a deep, I mean, do you call it a blood red? I don't know, because it is a very deep red, and they've matched the uh, wheel wells, that's a, in, is that, no, I think it's its own separate piece. I was going to wonder if that was part of the interior. It is not. So they have no bumpers on this one. It does wrap around the front and then obviously to the back, these wheel wells, and they've been matched to the uh, paint of the body, which I think is nice. Obviously, this one's going to hit its peak in racing liveries as they, as they go forward. You could see this one in all kinds of different racing liveries, and I think that one is going to be Amazing. All right, let's make some space here. We've got this and now we'll just finish off with the Alteza. Like I said, I could go in history on this, but you know, older versions of this, but I think the set itself needs its own attention. All right. So here is, here it is the 98 Toyota Alteza. I have said, I remember I've talked so much about the Prelude that I wanted the Prelude to get done. And obviously Rio Asada did it. It went to premium. Another one high on my list because there was a long time in the late 90s that I thought, and the early 2000s, that I thought the Toyota Alteza slash uh, Lexus IS was the coolest car on the road. I don't care how expensive other cars were. I thought this was the best looking car with its uh, clear tail lights, all the details. And I've always wanted to see, there's been drift versions done and racing versions done, but I've, and I think even a tuned version by Hot Wheels, but I wanted to see a stock version done. And we finally have it. That being said, it's a little too big. I know some people have said it doesn't have door handles either. I can get past that. At least it has side mirrors. It would have been nice to have door handles. It might be a little more realistic, but it might be a little bit too big. But I have been waiting, withholding judgment until I actually open the thing and, uh, and have it in the collection. Because on its own, it looks good. When you put it compared to some of these other cars, it does look a little big. But let's just, uh, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna show you both here. I mean. You're going to get a better sense of this casting in the silver version. There's the artwork. Really love the art here. 
and the chase is just all black. I'll showcase this in a maybe a YouTube short or an Instagram reels or something like that. But I want to give this one its own short, its own feature, and ultimately just what you see here, just turn to black. So we'll put that right there. But let's look at this one. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here it is. I mean, it's awesome. Like I said, on its own, it looks great. But it does look slightly off. Am I right? I don't consider myself a reviewer. I consider myself someone who likes to showcase models and just talk to them. You know, I don't show typically models I don't like or I don't collect. I just don't. I mean, if I'm not interested in it, why try and talk about it? But I will focus on models that I'm excited about and might disappoint me a little bit. And this one, I think just based on its size, I think if it was shrunk just a tad, then some of the things, you know, all the door handles, whatever. But the, I'm just expressing what I, and it will probably grow on me. And there's a time that I might say I like it better. But, you know, like Tomic Limited Vintage released this casting almost near perfect. And I've been waiting for Hot Wheels version. And I just think like I look at it now and I'm going, great. But when I compare it size-wise to these others, I don't know, is it just too big? I, you know, I haven't put it next to a Fiat, but does it, is it that much bigger than the Miata? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Talk to me in a few months. We'll be doing the Lamley Awards. I'll be definitely going over all these new castings and kind of seeing where I, where I am. But I have to say of the three new castings, even though the one I was most excited for was the Alteza, I'd have to say I think the Fiat and even the VW, I like those better. You guys can tell me what you think. There's the next video, those two packs. But right now, I think this Modern Classics is a great set. I love the choice of castings. I love, for the most part, the execution of the models and the colors and the paint, the Spoon Civic. Oh, man we just all know it's going to be so popular and deservedly so it's fantastic you guys tell me what you think what is your favorite what are your thoughts on the hotels am i wrong if i am tell me um because obviously it's your opinion as well and maybe i am wrong and i'm hoping this will grow on me and frankly probably will thanks everybody bye